Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. A while back, I wondered about how many villagers should I be using to build a town center. Now, I don't think this is necessarily a significant decision in a game setting, but it seemed like an intriguing mathematical question to me, and I'm always up for some interesting math under the disguise of Age of Empires. So let's assume that you're booming on a black forest map, and so we're looking for long-term efficiency here, and we have some villagers chopping wood. You reach the castle age and you want to use some of those nearby lumberjacks to build a town center. Once the town center is built, it's going to start producing constant villagers to add to the wood line. So the question is, how many of the lumberjacks should work on the town center if I want to get the most resources in the long run? Should I just build the town center with one villager, maybe two, four, as many as I can? Think about your guests during the intro and then we'll do some tests, crunch some numbers and see if we can come up with an answer. To conceptualize the trade-off, remember that villagers build less efficiently together, so using two instead of one villager on a building doesn't have the build time, it reduces it by a quarter, so usually you're better off separating your builders. That would be a sound argument for using the fewest number of villagers possible, since normally buildings go up overall more efficiently if you use one villager on each. The other argument would be that the sooner you get the new town center up, the sooner you can get more villagers out. Having more villagers out means more resources. The easiest way to find out what happens is to test it. One assumption I'm making is that you're building this town center at the start of Castle Age, and all the Feudal Age texts are researched, but none of the Castle Age ones are. Our control group is going to be 8 lumberjacks working away for 8 minutes. We can see a slight curve reflecting the increasing distance to the lumber camp, lowering their collection rate. The Y values are the amount that was accumulated after each time interval, and the X is what time we're at in the test. Now we graph the same thing, but if a single villager makes a town center, which starts to continuously create villagers for the wood line as soon as it's up. You can see the wood total is lower at the start, but becomes much faster as new villagers are produced. Now unlike what we might have been looking at when I've done similar things in the past, we're not actually looking at when the town center pays off its wood cost, which if you're curious is about 6 minutes and 45 seconds. Just going back to the collection rates, we can see the pattern continues as we add more villagers. You're losing out on early work time with your villagers as you put more of them on the town center, so for the first few minutes adding more villagers seems to be a bad idea. But starting the villager production sooner easily pays that back over the long term. Now something I want to point out is that this isn't going to extend up forever. Eventually, you'll stop making villagers, so everybody will catch up to the same point. An interesting pattern that came out was this node at 4 minutes and 10 seconds. After that amount of time, it didn't matter how many villagers built the town center, or even if I built one at all. After that, the more villagers that built it, the better the payback. One more thing that's interesting about this is that the payoff dwindles after a little while. Adding more villagers reduces the time it's built by only a few seconds past a certain point, so there are what we call diminishing returns. So what's the takeaway? Well, I'd say that four villagers on a town center makes the most sense when you're trying to build one, since using more than that sacrifices a lot in the short term for very little gain in the long term. An argument could also be made for using two builders as the general rule. So that was for random map booming on Black Forest, but what about getting villagers out at the start of a deathmatch game? Let's say I have two villagers and I want to make two town centers in this area. How should I do it to get the most villagers out as fast as possible? If both villagers focus on one town center and then the other, both town centers are up at 3 minutes and 52 seconds and I have 10 villagers out at 4 minutes and 43 seconds. Now if I'm being clever, I can take the villagers from the first town center as they're being created and add them to help them build the second one. That way I can speed it up and have both town centers up at 3 minutes and 27 seconds and 10 villagers out about 15 seconds faster. The third thing I can do is split the villagers to each town center. If I split the two villagers and have them each build a town center, both of those are up at 2 minutes and 32 seconds, and I have 10 villagers out by 4.16. This means you're significantly faster at getting multiple TCs up and having the most villagers out if you can put one on each. 
The same would apply for four villagers building two town centers. You should be splitting them up so that there's two villagers on each town center in order to build them the fastest. The reason our first results don't apply to these ones is because now we're talking about multiple town centers. So when you're just making one town center, you want as many as possible on it, but when you're building multiple, you want to spread your villagers out evenly. So now we did Black Forest and Deathmatch, and what about Nomad? Of course, you're going to be trying to find a great location, but are you better off having the villagers meet halfway or build near one of their starting positions? Assuming I start with three villagers and one is going to be building a dock, the town center is up earlier if I build it close to the starting location of one of the other two villagers than if I tried to build it exactly in between the two. On a tiny map like this one, it was about 8 seconds faster, and on a larger map that would easily add up to more. It would appear it's more important to start working on the town center as soon as you find a good location than it is to place it exactly between your villagers. Now that may seem to contradict the first results where we wanted to have as many villagers as possible building a town center at the same time, but that didn't take into account all this walking that happens across the Nomad map. And you have to imagine an extreme example where it's a ludicrous sized map and you can see that it would definitely be faster to get the town center up building it at one of the two starting locations than it would be to try to march them to the middle of that map and build the town center there. So that covers a few town center building scenarios. It's a surprisingly complicated topic and sometimes you want more building it and sometimes you want fewer. Again, in the end, these are very fine points, but the effects do exist and it's interesting to explore them a bit. That's all for this one. Thanks for watching guys. Happy building and I'll see you next time.